Welcome to this video. I hope you've been enjoying the course so far. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to build a basic tabular report. But in order to contextualize um, what we're going to be doing and how this relates to the previews, the filters, and the fields, I've put together a scenario from John T. Rhodes, a famous South African cricket player. I get an email that says, I need value proposition customers. It says, hey, Pasla, I need to know all new business under $250,000 in the closed one stage. And while you're at it, make sure the data only shows fiscal year 2017. If you could send me a link to the report and an Excel document, that would help a lot. Get on it, Janti. So the first step we always need to do, and you'll notice that I've already begun doing this, is to actually break down this request and highlight some of the key features so that we can begin to figure out what report type we need and the filters and fields that we're going to use. So the question is how many new business, uh, how much new business at the various stages by amount? We know when we hear the word new business that we're talking about an opportunity. We know that uh, it has to be less than, so we're talking about an amount and we need to know the stage. And we know that this is a fiscal year, so this is actually going to be a filter. It's going to give us guidance related to our filters. So let's use this information, transfer it to Salesforce Lightning, and begin to craft the report. So here I go. I click on Reports, New Report. And I know that this is going to be an Opportunities Report. So I type in opportunities let's see what comes up there we go it says opportunities I highlight that I click create the first three steps I always take when I'm entering a report is the first one is to save it so I'm going to call this John T's request and I'm going to put today's date 10 28 2017 and I'm going to save this in Pathless folder there we go. So I have first saved it. The second thing I'm going to do is remove all columns, show all opportunities, territories all, opportunity status all. I'm going to say create a date all time. And then I'm going to click save. So I saved. I removed all columns and then I've made sure that the filters look exactly like this. We are now ready to begin. Let's start off by talking about the preview section. So if I go back to the email and we're thinking about business, I need to know information about the accounts. So what I'm going to do is actually type in account name. I'm going to drag in and drop. I'm going to drag in amount. Remember, John T. Was specifically was looking for amounts over 250,000 or less than, pardon me. He spoke about the stage, so I'm going to type in stage. Um, I'm going to look at when this was created, okay, and I'm going to look at the type because, of course, he was looking specifically for the closed warn stage, right? And we want to know any new business. So I'm thinking about new customers. All right. So I have some of my previews. Now let me talk about filters. Notice how I was able to drag and drop things into this report. I can also take things out. In fact, this is a great example. I'm looking specifically for the opportunity type information and not the account type. So if I accidentally drag that over. I could either use this to remove the column. Alternatively, I could drag and drop this back into the field section and that would take it out. Okay, so now that we have that and uh, what we're going to do now is look at the actual filters. So let's look at what John T is saying. So we have new business, we need to make sure that it's less than and the value proposition stage is taken care of. So let's actually look at the fiscal year first. That's the most obvious one. So what I'm going to say is that um, 
we're going to look at <clears throat> specifically whether the created date was this fiscal year. Right, so we have that. In addition to that, we have our type. So we're going to look at specifically, as we remember, we're looking at new business opportunities less than value proposition stage. So let us go right into amount and take care of that quickly. So I'm going from the most obvious to the more complex. So I'm going to put an amount. I'm going to say amount less than or equal to, and I'm going to put in here 250,000. Okay, wonderful. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that we're looking specifically for new customers. So I'm going to drag up type and drop it in. I could also, if I typed it in here in the fields, I could pull this over, but I don't want to do that. For demonstration purposes, I pull this up from the top, I use the magnifying glass, and I'm going to select new customer. Click insert selected and OK. Finally, from what we remember, we're looking at the stage, and we're looking specifically for the value proposition stage. So I'm going to type in stage, drag this over, and I'm going to say closed one, and I'm going to select OK. Notice now that I have those that have less than, the stage is closed to one, the created date, and the type. I'm now going to click Save and run this report. What I can easily do is sort this information by clicking on the title of the uh, column. I can make sure that I also put this information in alphabetical order as well, so I can sort this information as I please. If I want to go back to the report, I could click Edit, and that would take me back to my report. However, I have to answer Jonti's question. So that the first thing he asked me to do was to get a link. So here I am. I've run the report. I can copy the information right in the URL. I can come down right here. And I can say, hi, Jonti. Here is the link. I can easily paste this link right here for him. He might say it's a bit overwhelming, so what I can do is actually highlight link, command K, put in the link and press apply. So there's the link right there. Now he's also asked me for an Excel. And what that means is that I actually have to export this information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right over here in the corner and notice that it says export. And I'm going to export this into an Excel folder. I'll click Export. Immediately, Salesforce will export this into a, an Excel file. And once it opens, I can then look at this information right here. I can sort it. And I can look at it in an Excel document, which might be useful. I would save this. And then I would include this in my uh, email to John T. So here's my email. It says, hi, Jonti. Here's the link. Remember, we put the link in there. I would attach the Excel. And I would also tell him information such as, you have six opportunities in your category right there. We can see that it is six. That's just an additional thing that I've added uh, to Jonti's request. But that's how we build a tabular report.